Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to automatically remove silent pauses from separate video and audio files. Okay, so after my video about removing silent pauses from video files, a lot of you were asking, what's my workflow when I have separate video and audio files that are synced together on the timeline? Now this workflow is very similar to that one in the video. It still primarily uses Audition to detect silence, but there are a few differences which I'll go through. So I have this video file here that has linked audio from the camera, and then I have separate audio that was recorded with another microphone and I've made it so that they are perfectly in sync. Now, the first thing I wanna do is export just the audio of my timeline. So I'll go up to my file menu and choose media. I'll choose the waveform audio and just go with the preset and then click export. And then I wanna open up that exported audio in Audition. And if you don't know Audition very well, I do have a whole course on it over at LinkedIn Learning. So I'll go up to file and choose open. There's my file. And then I wanna to go to the Diagnostics panel. So I go up to Window and Diagnostics. Where it says Effect, I wanna change this to Delete Silence. And I'll just go with the default preset. I'm gonna click Settings to open up the settings for this effect. We have the option to set a level for silence and a level for audio. But I always find a good starting point is to just click and drag some audio in the editor window and then click Find Levels. And now I can see that silence is everything below minus 70 decibels and audio is everything above minus 66 decibels. You can also set the minimum duration for these and I find a good starting point is always about a third of a second, which is 300 milliseconds. But of course you can adjust this as you need to. And then I'm going to click outside of my selection to select everything and I'll go and click scan. And then down here we have a list of everything that it's determined to be silent. So if I click one of these, it's going to highlight it in my editor window. I'll just click plus to zoom in on this. And it is a good idea to just step through this list and just make sure that everything here is something that you'd consider to be silence. And then once you're happy with this list, just select it all by pressing Command or Control A, and then right click and choose Create Markers. And what this has done is added range markers to all of those silent moments in my audio. Then we'll switch over to the Markers panel. And one thing you wanna make sure is that your first marker starts at zero. So if it doesn't start at zero, you either wanna go in here and just type zero, or you wanna add another marker that starts at zero. And then you want to select all of these markers by pressing Command or Control A, and then right click, and you wanna change the marker type to subclip. And then we'll save this file. Now, before we bring this file back into Premiere, we wanna add an empty video track to it because it's only audio at the moment. So to do that, I'm gonna go over to Adobe Media Encoder, and I'll just drag that file we've just saved into the queue. You just wanna set this to a video format that is fast to render. So I'm going with Apple ProRes Proxy. And the other thing you wanna make sure to do is check that the frame rate of the file you're creating matches the frame rate of your original media. So I know my original media was 2997. So it looks like those two things do match. So I'll click OK and then Start Queue. It should render out really fast. And then it's time to bring it back into Premiere. So there's the QuickTime file I've just created. I'll drag this into my project panel. And then what it's done is it's imported the entire file here. I don't actually need this, I'm going to delete it. But it's also imported a subclip for every moment of silence that we marked in Audition. So what we can do is use these clips to cut holes in our original timeline and remove that silence. But before we do that, we need to sync these files using their time code. So I'm going to press Command or Control A to select all. I'm gonna go up to my clip menu and choose Create Multi-Camera Source Sequence. And in this window here, I want to sync everything using time code. I'm going to create a single multicam source sequence. And I just wanna make sure this track assignment is set to either label or angle, it doesn't really matter. And then I'll click OK. So it's put all of our subclips into a process clips bin and here is the multi-camera source sequence that it's created. I'm going to open this up in my timeline by holding down the shortcut key command or control and double clicking. And you can see there is all of our silent moments organized by time code on the timeline. Now, the last thing that we need to do is make sure that the number of video and audio tracks here match the number of audio and video tracks that we have in our original sequence. So I can see here I have one video track and two audio tracks. If I go back here, I've only got one video track and one audio track. So what I'll do is I'll just lock down my video track 
I'm going to press Command or Control A to select all. And I'm going to hold down Shift and Option or Alt and click and drag down. And that will constrain its position and duplicate it. Now I can unlock that video track. I'll press Command or Control A to select all again. Then I'll press Command or Control C to copy. I'll go over to my original sequence and paste those clips there. So Command or Control V. And you can see what it's done is it's pasted those clips everywhere where there was silence on my timeline. Now I don't need these clips that I generated out of Audition anymore, so I can just go over to my project panel, select them and press delete. It's warning me that it's going to delete them from the timeline, that's perfectly fine. It's deleted it from my timeline, but it's left all these gaps behind. So I'm just going to select all the clips on my timeline, Command or Control A, and then I'll go up to my sequence and choose Close Gap. And now we've deleted all of the silence and we can very quickly jump through our sequence and listen to all the different takes without having to listen to the silence in between. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. <laughs> Waving over the phone. And that is how you automatically remove silent pauses from separate video and audio files. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.